I will start with a note that Jim Burnett is not well and he, he has to apologize for not being here. However, he was co-presenting already with Chip Trenziger, so uh, he's going to take that session and combine both of theirs. So with that, uh, it's my pleasure to introduce Chip. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here today. We're talking about Levy Park. We've been privileged to be able to work on this project and um, the reinventing of the park. And it, it's not only the renovation of this green space, but it's also rethinking of the entire neighborhood and making a place, an active environment um, that people can come to. Um, we were working with the Upper Kirby District and Jamie Brewster, who has a tremendous amount of passion for this project, um, and also with Joe Turner and the Parks Department, um, and also a private developer. So this is truly a model for, for private public partnership in creating a, a really kind of world-class uh, destination. The Upper Kirby District is located kind of in the triangle between downtown, the gallery, and, and the medical center. It's also halfway between Herman Park, Memorial Park, the new Buffalo Bayou Park, and Discovery Green to give you an idea of proximity. The park itself is located in uh, the Upper Kirby District, which is about 550 acres. As you can see from the diagram, it's, it's really the centerpiece or the heart of the district. The Upper Kirby District is an affluent part of town really quite wonderful. The adjacencies of the park um, today is really surrounded by low-level office, surface parking. Um, there's a daycare on the east side. There's, there's uh, residential housing, um, hotels on, on the south, and again, lower-level office. The important thing to note, Richmond Avenue, which is the major corridor that leads to the park, is really separated from it. You don't know that the park is here unless you're, you, you live in this area and so making that connection is extremely important. The other important thing to note is that all these adjacencies turn their back on the park. So the park uh, is, is facing parking, it's facing service areas and so part of this study and this design is really how do you embrace the neighborhood? How do you make this the front door to everyone? This is uh, the Richmond streetscape and again uh, to the right or to the left rather is, is this low-level commercial and surface parking and then the park is on the other side, so, so you don't know that it's there. Looking down, aerial shot, again, Richmond is on the top, um, the commercial development that's there, the existing park with baseball fields, um, the Four Points Hotel uh, is in the bottom right-hand corner, which has recently gone through some renovations, and then uh, the Girl Scout headquarters. Levy Park today, the program consists of a, a Little League baseball field that over the years has become less and less utilized, um, a, a very active community garden, um, walking trails, playground parking, so very much a passive park. Ten years ago, the Upper Kirby District started actively acquiring land around the park. Um, the, the parcel to the, to the left um, and then the parcel to the, to the right along Richmond um, and then also the mid-block, uh, the old Wake Forest Department apartments um, with the idea that they would they would they would develop these areas and start to activate the edges this is a view on east side looking into the ball field and again you can see these amazing live oaks that exist on site and then from the wake forest side where the old apartments were it's very much open and clear so Joe Turner um, with the Parks Department had a really wonderful idea. He said, what if we take this park and we do a land swap and we stretch it out east to west? And what this does for us is it starts to give more area for this mixed-use development or this activity to come along the perimeter and face and address the park. So the Upper Kirby District solicited proposals from developers. They engaged with one. They signed a 100-year land lease. Um, and they developed office with retail at its base on the north side, 225,000 square feet of office and 25,000 square feet of retail. That's just been completed. Um, they're in the planning stages for the the other office in retail, which will uh, be very much like the one completed, and it should break ground within the next year. And then the multifamily is about halfway through construction, 270 units. And what's exciting about the multifamily is they actually carved out a second floor amenity deck that faces the park. And as everyone knows, people love to watch people. So both park users will be able to see up and look at what's happening on the amenity deck. And uh, likewise, people on the amenity deck can look down and be engaged.
The district also realized the need for strong pedestrian connectivity. And um, they actively started improving streetscapes throughout the district, and most importantly, uh, to Levy Park. They recently completed Kirby Drive um, and are currently working on Westheimer. We are working on the planning of East Side, which will really become an extension of the park. We'll have like materials um, and really announce and, and uh, draw people down into the area. The other thing we're doing is on Richmond Avenue, we're taking the fact that you don't know that the park's there, we're making gateways and we're reworking the median along Richmond to talk to the park and, and make it feel as one. Amazing trees existed on the existing uh, green space, 80-year-old um, live oaks, 40 and 50 inch caliber trees. and. You know, one of the obviously downsides of the multifamily that you see in red was we were displacing a lot of trees and we were actually able to move those trees to the, the other portion of the park where the Wake Forest apartments were and we now have a unified green space that feels the same from east to west and we're able to save all these amazing trees. EDI was employed to help us with this. They actually floated these trees on giant uh, air tubes and pushed them into their new location and helped frame the new development. <laughs> A uh, project for uh, public spaces was engaged early on and worked with the district and, and with the community in developing a really great program. We layered onto that program based on our park work and experience and then we also uh, worked with Dan Biederman's group out of New York. They've been in, engaged to help us with the next level of programming. You know, what happens after the park's complete? The operations and the maintenance of the park. But the idea is that there's something for everyone, which I think is really critical. So very kind of highly programmed activity. The park itself, um, we actually introduced two new streets through the park with uh, on-street parking both on the north and south side along the new retail and uh, multifamily adjacencies. We also introduced parking along east side and Wake Forest. So this suddenly now is a destination not only for the neighborhood but for the whole uh, city of Houston. The park is, is anchored by two uh, large lawns. There's a performance event lawn that you see on the left, or the right rather, um, that, that sets up to a uh, performance pavilion where you'll have programmed uh, events. And then that lawn is actually surrounded by shady seating groves. So it's much like the analogy of, of sitting in a restaurant, everybody wanting to be in the booth and looking out into the restaurant and seeing all the activity. The cafe that you see is a 2,500 square foot restaurant that has wonderful views across the park and then also to the performance pavilion. There's also a strong connection uh, with the community garden that's located in the sunny spot of the park, which we think will be wonderful. The other aspect is the activity lawn on the, on the left is um, both an active and passive recreation zone. It also serves the playground in the center and it's surrounded by uses. A gaming area to the north, another uh, food kiosk. We've taken the old Upper Kirby District bus that used to give tours in the district and we're actually turning that into a, a food venue. A dog park for both large and small dogs. Um, with a great adjacency to the, the residence and the new residential building. Also has good separation from the, from the play area. And then a promenade on the northern side that connects all these great uses, which will have both fixed and movable furniture. Rain garden on the southern side, we're, we're taking all the water that falls on the site and we're putting it through this garden and we're telling the story of how we're, we're capturing water, we're slowing it down, we're filtering it, which is so important in Houston. And then the play in the center, lots of activities have been programmed, which is a, a really gonna be an exciting venue that I'll get into further. The overall park plan, you know, it was important to us that we, we do uh, a beautiful design that was seen from above. With these new buildings coming up, it needed to be artful in its form, but it needed to talk to all the program elements that were desired. And I think what's exciting about this is you can see both areas for small and large gatherings and groups. You know, the other thing we wanted to do was we, we wanted to celebrate the community garden, growing food, telling that story. We wanted to celebrate the water story with the rain garden. Um, we wanted to tell the story of the botanical experience, to have a really rich botanical experience that focused on native planting. Um, so I think all these things are really critical. We're also pulling in the history of the Upper Kirby District and the park and, and telling that story also. 
this is a view looking from the office building back toward the south and you can see the performance pavilion, performance green and the restaurant pavilion, community garden. We're actually, the road that's coming through, we've worked very hard to blur the edges and make that feel plaza-like. So no curbs, special pavement, we've, we've scaled it down. The farmer's market that's located in the upper Kirby district that happens every Saturday is going to move to this location and we've designed the street to handle all that venue. So very, very kind of exciting uh, activities. This is a view from um, underneath the performance pavilion and you see the, the restrooms in the back that serve the overall park and the playground. Um, Natalie Appel, great architect here in Houston, worked with us and um, it, I think this is quite wonderful. This idea of cutting a hole in this beautiful kinetic structure that lets the sky down is, is quite beautiful. This is a view from the, the restaurant pavilion looking back. And then this is the uh, promenade and we simply took random trees and we marched them along the path to create different spaces, both small and large, so there'll be fixed seating and special lighting. And again, this is a view looking down that promenade and uh, at the entry experience. The community garden, um, really active group. We, we met with them several times and uh, from their input developed a design that I think will be quite wonderful. And then this is a view looking back at the performance area over the green, and you can start to see the play area to the uh, left. The play area is really, um, lots of thought and discussion have gone into this. This is really a good kind of um, taking advantage of the cultural resources in Houston, the idea of getting the universities and schools and the museums involved in, in programming. There's a reading room, there's a, an interactive water feature that tells the story of a Texas rain shower. Um, there's a rock climbing wall, all kind of interactive play. The highlight of this is a 250 foot long tree house. You know, we had these amazing trees and we wanted to just tell the story of of them and we thought what better way than trying to get people up into the canopy and kids and so there's these, these series of play platforms that happen that will be programmed and there's an accessible route that leads you up to it. So we're, we're very excited about this venue. This is the activity lawn and again you can see the tree house on the, the edge that holds that perimeter. Um, there's a gaming area right above and then the upper Kirby district food kiosk, the dog park on the right. And then overall view. So what's interesting, the, the building, the big building has just been completed and again it has retail at its base, the, the uh, residential building and then there'll be a sister building that's not shown in this perspective that will start construction in about a year. The park is scheduled for completion at the end of the summer and we have high expectations for it and what it can do for not only the neighborhood but all of Houston. So appreciate it very much.